Hi guys, welcome back to world.com. I'm Michaela and as you know, it's coming up to Valentine's Day. So I thought I'd come on here and show you how to make a nice handmade gift for your Valentine. Today I'm going to be making two interlocking metal hearts. <laughs> All you need to make this is some solid bar. I'm using 8mm aluminium bar for this, but you can use any size or material bar you like. I'm using aluminium just because it's easier to work with. All the welding I'm doing today, I'm using my Orlikan Cytotig machine on an AC current as I'm welding aluminium. I'm using 100 amps with a foot pedal. I'm also using a Protig torch with a Limox tungsten, which is the pink one, and Argon as my shielding gas. I will also be using 4043 aluminum 2.4mm Lincoln Electric filler wire. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the bar down to size using a bandsaw. To make two hearts, I need four lengths, all 25mm long. I use the stop on the saw to make multiple cuts easier. I'm then going to use the hand rollers to roll the curve of the heart on all four pieces. I put about half the bar in the rollers and roll it round. I then finish it off with a mallet to make sure it's fully curved and to the shape of the rollers. I do this to all four pieces and then head back to the welding bay. I then make the shape of the heart on my desk, overlapping the bar. I then mark out where I'm going to cut with a marker and cut off any excess using a bandsaw. Take two pieces to form the first heart. I weld this together at the two joins. I use weights to hold them in place. I then thread the other bits that still need to be welded through this heart so they're interlocked and then weld that heart together too. I then leave them to cool.
once the hearts are welded together, I then join the hearts so they don't move. I do this by clamping them to the table, using a mallet to bend them a bit so they're a bit flatter, and then I weld where the hearts cross over each other. Using files, I file the hearts into shape. I add weld if I need to, to achieve the perfect heart shape. Once I'm happy with the shape of the hearts, I then head to the cleaning bay and use the grinder to flatten them and clean them. The reason I flatten the hearts a bit is so they're easier to emboss. You could leave them round, it is completely up to you. And then I clean it over with an orbital grinder with sandpaper on. <laughs> Once the hearts are all cleaned, I take them back into my welding bay. I then emboss these with either names or dates to make them more personalised and special. I use a hammer and an embossing kit to do this. I always like to go over where I've embossed with a thin sharpie to make it stand out a bit more. You could always paint these too, but I like the metal look after being sanded, so I'm going to leave mine like this. You could always do a single heart or even add more hearts to this. <laughs> and these are the finished hearts thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you have a lovely valentine's day